Hi, I'm Brandon. And I'm Jodie Lee. And welcome back to Lesson 6, Monday. And yesterday we learned about a God who comes and finds us when we were hiding. Um, Adam and Eve had messed up and they were hiding from God in the Garden of Eden because they realized what they'd done and God came and found them. And today we're continuing on a similar story about this amazing God. Um, but instead of just hiding, um, the person in today's story is running away. So the story is based in Genesis 28 verse 10 to 17. Um, and your homework is to go and read that for yourselves. Um, we're just going to read some of the, the verses which I thought were cool. But um, I just want to give you guys a bit of a background. So there was this guy named Jacob, right? Mm. Um, and he had a brother named Esau, okay? And he was the younger son. So back in those days, the older son got all the, like, blessings and all of the things. Um, and basically, uh, Jacob was deceptive and tricked his dad into giving him the blessings, okay? So now Esau is really, really happy because, like, um, Jacob stole, like, all the rights to be the firstborn, which is basically like all the inheritance and everything, mm. right? I'd also be pretty upset if he stole all my inheritance. So he's fleeing for his life. He's messed up. He's running away. He's scared his brother's going to kill him. Okay. Um, he knows he's messed up and hasn't done what God's asked him to do because God had promised him that he would get the blessing. Exactly. But then God, um, didn't, God didn't want him to like be deceptive in order to get it, right? Um, and then he's like running away and he like falls asleep with his head on a rock. Um, life has got really, really tough for him. Um, and in verse 13, we see a dream that he had when he was trying to sleep in the middle of nowhere on a rock, right? So if you can read for us verse 13 to 15. 13 to 15. Yes. There above it stood the Lord, and he said, I am the Lord, the God of your father Abraham, and the God of Isaac. I will give you and your descendants the land on which you are laying. Your descendants will be like the dust of the earth, and you will spread out to the west and to the east, to the north and to the south. All people on earth will be blessed through you and your offspring. I am with you and will watch over you wherever you go. And I will bring you back to this land. I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you. Okay, so basically God comes and finds him. He's run away and God comes and says, no, I'm going to find you. I still have a plan for you, right? Um, and he reinstates or, or re he really says, that's not the right English word, but there we go. Um, the promise that he gave to Abraham long ago, um, mm. in a few chapters earlier. Um, and basically he gave this... Reestablishes? Reestablishes, yes. Um, he gave Abraham this promise that he would make Abraham the father of many like nations. And the key part to me is the last part where it says, everyone will be blessed through you, right? Mm. Um, and that's so powerful because that's the only way we can all be blessed through him is they were talking about how uh, Jesus would come out of the line, like would be one of his great, 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 great mm. grandkids. Um, and then the whole world would be saved through it, right? And it was just so powerful to me because there Jacob has sinned. He's messed up. And God's saying, no, I'm going to come after you. When you're running away from me, I'm coming after you. I'm finding you. And I've still got a plan for you. And I still have a promise for you. And whatever you've done isn't too bad for Jesus' sacrifice. He's still going to come and he's still going to die for Amen. you, right? Um, and that was just like so powerful and if you guys go look at the dream as well it was basically a ladder where i think angels were going up and down between earth and heaven um, and the lesson touched on the point that that ladder is almost like jesus right last week we touched on reconciliation and the fact that jesus came to earth to reconcile us with god exactly. and that ladder represents that um that reconciliation that jesus is doing so yeah for me it was just if you've messed up um if you feel like you're running away from god like he's the god who's going to come back after you and nothing you've done is too bad for him amen mm -hmm. Do you have something to add? Do you want to make it lighter? I do. No, okay. I was just making sure the light is fine. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll continue. I like that verse where Jesus uh, references himself to being a shepherd. Mm -hmm. And he talks about what a good shepherd will do. Even if he has 99 other sheep safely with him, if there's just one that goes missing, mm -hmm. one sheep that goes astray, he will leave the 99 to go find that one. Because we're important to him. Mm -hmm. Jesus doesn't just go... <laughs> It's just mm -hmm. one person. Mm -hmm. I leave him. As a shepherd, he loves his sheep and he cherishes them. And regardless of how small or uh, few they are that are lost, he will always go and he will look for that person. And I think that kind of ties into when we run away from God. Mm -hmm. The shepherd doesn't wait for the sheep to come back to the flock. Mm -mm. The shepherd goes out and he looks Finds for it, that yeah. sheep. And um, that's, that's the same for uh, Jonah. Jonah tried to run away from God. God didn't say, well, I'm going to go to Nineveh in the meantime, and I'm going to wait for you to meet me there. No, God went to Jonah. He exactly. went and he found Jonah, and he, he, like, he finds you in your situation, and he brings you back. 
let's hope that you don't have to be in rough waves, uh, <laughs> trapped in the belly of a fish, in order for you to listen to God's will uh, when he finds you and brings you back to his flock. Um, I think it's easier if we just uh, yes, yeah. listen to God. First time around. Because his advice <laughs> is always don't. good for us. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, cool. I think that kind of covers it. God's the God who comes to find you when you run away. Awesome. Close your eyes. Do you want to pray? No, wait. I I'll pray. pray. Okay. <laughs> Heavenly Father God, we want to thank you for this wonderful lesson, Lord, that shows us just how much you love us, that you're not content with us uh, being away from you, but as the shepherd who's lost his sheep, Father God, you will always come and look for us, and you desire us to be by your side. Um, and Lord, we pray that that will be our same desire, that we may also want to be by your side with the shepherd, the only one that can look after us and keep us safe. We love you, Father God, and we accept you into our lives. We pray this in your wonderful and holy name. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Bye. Bye.